you. For those who help the needy, it's a real dilemma. More people seeking assistance due to higher food prices and the struggle to meet that demand due to supply problems. A program was announced today to help dull that double-edged sword. As we hear now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Agencies who help those in need, like Feed More, often get donations of surplus goods from supermarkets. But as you've noticed, store shelves aren't as packed as they traditionally were, meaning they have less to give. Honestly, the supply chain for us has been really critically a problem since the beginning of the pandemic, and it only continues to worsen, not get better. At the same time, you've no doubt noticed the price of groceries and other items in the past year have soared, with inflation having been running at its highest in 40 years. It's just a paradigm that puts our families in a critically bad position. It all adds up to an increase in the number of those who need assistance to make ends meet. There are more people coming to all of our programs, all the way from our backpack programs to our seniors that need home delivered meals. Today, Congressman Higgins announced $3 million in federal funds over the next three years, which will allow those on public assistance locally to stretch their food dollars further by matching the SNAP benefits they already receive for the purchase of fresh fruits and vegetables through Feedmore's Western New York Farm Market and the Field and Fork Network. But that brings us back to part one of the paradigm, the once bountiful cornucopia, which is shrunken. You could have all the money in the world, but if there's no stuff to get, yes. what do you do? Well, you know, that's why we continue to work with all of our collaborators and partners, not only all of the local farms who are always our first go-to, but then also local wholesalers to bring produce in from wherever we can get it. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.